cardiologist now for about uh, three, three to four Abnormal years rhythms. from the upper and lower chambers of the heart, uh, atrial fibrillation, the, the rapid short circuits of the upper chamber, ventricular tachycardia. I work with uh, sudden death prevention and, uh, and also some of the inherited disorders and congenital heart disease that that uh, we'll see very on. I think as a physician, people. one, I, I, I'm interested in listening to them and listening to their, their problems. Um, I think they can expect me to be, to put their safety first at all costs and then do my best to uh, help them feel better or, or actually try to cure the rhythm they present with. And so, that's, and, and that, that to, that's important to me regardless of the time it takes. Their yeah. family's concerns and their concerns are my concerns and also, uh, that their safety is my concern as well. And so we try to do our best to, to maximize that and then at the same time well, get I it right. Initially from Logan, and then I went to medical school at the University of Utah, and then went to the Mayo Clinic for eight yeah, years. So I'm married. Uh, we have five kids from 12 to four months. Uh, we uh, have three boys and we two do. Girls. My wife is tremendous and, um, and a lot more talented than I am, so I rely on that heavily, both for our kids to do well in life and also uh, to, to, to survive day. Well, my grandfather was a physician, and uh, when, he, when I used to see him as a boy, he would go out to rural Utah and would help people that couldn't reach the hospital. He started to appreciate and, and, uh, his, his ability to serve and care for others. And I saw that as something that I and wanted. Growing up in a scientific environment, me medicine also lets you be a scientist and to study and ask questions and try to solve them. So it became a natural field of interest where I could serve others and also pursue scientific questions. I also have an interest in stereotaxis, and what that lets us do is make tiny movements in the heart. And uh, instead of our hands guiding the catheters, magnets will pull the catheter millimeter by millimeter. And some of the rhythms, if, if we miss by just a millimeter or two, it comes back. And so we have to be very precise. And stereotaxis lets us do that. Uh, we have an active interest in that and uh, become a training center. So, uh, one of the areas in technology that, we're, that, uh, that is along the cutting edge right now, mainly in, on the navigation and, and mapping, uh, navigation in the heart and mapping of these rhythms. Mm -hmm.